If you're new to 3D printing for cosplay, you're probably wondering what are some of the best ways to find 3D models or STL files for free? Maybe you've been doing this for a while and you're just looking for some different models. Well, in this video, we're gonna be covering my top five sites for finding 3D models for cosplay that are free, specifically focusing on Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. Hi, Tracy here from Astrosite Cosplay. Finding 3D models for your cosplays can sometimes be a challenge, even more so finding those that are free as they're not always the best quality. As someone that is relatively new to 3D printing, these are some of the best sites that I've found for my 3D models. I will also be covering some paid sites that you can get some free models from, so make sure you hang around to the end of the video. So let's check them out. In our number one spot is Thingiverse. Now this is probably no surprise if you've been into 3D printing for a while. It's probably the biggest site for free models and the one that most people recommend. You will not find any paid files on this site and this is the main site that we use for all our cosplay props and armor files. Some examples of things that we've 3D printed or going to 3D print in the future are this power orb from Guardians of the Galaxy that I've yet to finish, the wasp gauntlet that I printed to upgrade my wasp cosplay suit which I'll link the build video for that up in the card and I'll also be looking at printing some of those other files to upgrade both our Ant-Man and the Wasp cosplay suits. I'll also be looking at printing this Captain Marvel helmet and Thor's hammer for, well, it's cool, right? Like who wouldn't want Thor's hammer sitting on your shelf? The quality of the files on this site can be a little bit hit and miss only because anybody can upload a 3D file. The best idea is to have a look at the number of likes and have a look at some of the comments and the makes, and that'll give you a good idea of the quality of the file. Often the summary section can give some good tips on how to print the file, the settings, the supports that were used, and looking at some of the other comments and makes can also assist with this. Number two goes to My Mini Factory. This is a great site for high quality 3D models. One of the principles of this site is that every STL file that is uploaded is tested for printability before publication. You will find some paid files on here, but there are plenty of free files. This Padme blaster was found here and it printed extremely well with great instructions. There is a whole category for props and cosplay broken down into masks and helmets, replica guns, replica swords so it makes searching and finding stuff very easy. If we do a search for Wonder Woman you can easily see the paid content at the top and the free files underneath. You can then sort by popularity and it will give you the most popular files first. Some future projects might be this Wonder Woman tiara or this Wonder Woman shield. Listings normally have printing instructions and also likes and comments, so make sure you check that out before printing. Now on the subjects of likes, if you could take the moment to hit that like button so this video could get out to more people, that would be appreciated. In our number three spot, we have Colts 3D. This has a whole section for cosplay and plenty of free files. There are some paid files on this site, but you can easily hover over the listing and it will show you whether it's free or the price. You can find whole Iron Man suits, this Han Solo blaster, and again, Wonder Woman armor. Make sure you check each file for the likes and the rating. If you find a modeler that you like, you can scroll down their listing to the bottom and see other models by that modeler. Question for cosplayers, are there any other free sites that you highly recommend that I haven't listed here? Leave a comment below to help out other fellow cosplayers. And in our fourth spot, we have yegi.com. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. This site doesn't actually host its own 3D models, but allows you to search for a model across multiple 3D modeling sites. This was actually how I found that Padme Blaster. So if you're looking for a particular model and you're having trouble finding it, definitely check out this site as it may be able to locate it for you. The only problem I find is sometimes you'll get a listing pop up, but the external site has taken down the file so it's no longer active. Our fifth site is things.com. I personally haven't printed anything from here just yet, but it's got some really cool models such as Iron Man helmets, Luke's lightsaber, and this really cool Magneto helmet. It has this cool feature where you can actually spin your 3D models around and see all sides. You can do a search and it does search for either externally or it can search for just on things.com. Now a couple of bonus tips for free files. These are all paid sites that offer free files for signing up to their mailing list. So at the time of recording, these are the files that are available. So make sure you jump over and grab your own free file. I will be doing a future video on top paid sites for 3D models. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified when it's published. I'll leave a link in the description, but first head over to do3d 
Disney.com. They have quite a few free files with a heavy focus on Marvel and Star Wars. The next is Nico Industries. If you head on over there and sign up, you'll get a Mark 50 Iron Man helmet. And then 3D printed props are offering a free Red Hood helmet by signing up to his mailing list. Now you've found the model you want to 3D print, make sure you click this link for some tips on scaling those 3D printed cosplay helmets and armor. I'll see you over there.